<laughs> I don't, I don't know if you, you want to take this one, Magnolia? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Joining us this morning from the Humane Society of West Michigan, as we do every Friday, we've got coordinator Zoe and Magnolia. <laughs> yeah, I think Magnolia might have some things to say during oh, this. I so. love this. All right, Magnolia yes. is so beautiful. I know. And she's a little girl, but she's only she's seven months old. Oh, really? Yeah. So she is just a little thing, but she is so sweet and adorable. I got her into the car to head over here and she fell asleep within two seconds. And she's looking for a home and she is just so sweet. We think that she might do good with cats, kids, but we are wanting her to go home with another compatible dog, mm -hmm. just so she can learn how to dog. It's hard being in a shelter for sure. your entire puppy existence. So yeah. we want her to go home with a dog that can kind of show her the ropes and how to be a real life dog. And if, you're, and if you're a, if you're a, a Max Scherzer fan, Detroit, you remember he has the two different colored eyes? Oh, yes. Magnolia does, too. I know, yeah. She has two different eyes. One is brown, one is blue. She really wants you to know that she wants to go home, and she wants to cuddle. Okay, guys? She really does. She, she's so excited, and she's such a pup, but what a pretty face she has with yeah. those eyes. And we've been talking about this for a while, but it's actually now here. Oh, it's Sunday here. is the birthday. I know. I cannot believe it, but Humane Society of West Michigan is turning 140 years old this weekend. On June 25th, from 11 to 3 p.m., we will be celebrating. Celebrating. We'll have lots of inflatable, super kid-friendly event. So Humane Society of West Michigan first was organized in 1883 just by a group of individuals who were really compassionate about animal welfare. But we didn't have a shelter until 1944. So these people were just bringing these pets into their homes and at other different vet clinics. And so then we got our shelter, and then we've been doing some really good life-saving work ever since. Oh, thank you for so what you do. Yeah, 140 years, and the birth and the adoption special, of course, yes, for your birthday. It's insane. So every animal that is an adult animal. We need to get them out of the shelter. So fee waived for that day. That's for the day. There's no fee. No fee. And then for puppies, it's 140. Which puppies are originally 325. Wow. And that includes a spay or neuter, age-appropriate vaccines, microchip, and even a six-week training course. So you guys, we aren't really trying to make much of these no, puppies. We're no, nonprofit. Yeah. We just want these animals to find their forever home, and that's what they deserve. And so, if you're thinking, okay, when should I get an animal into my home? This Sunday is the right time to she, do it. I think she just said yeah. it. Magnolia was like, no. Yes, <laughs> What that face of yours is, I can't stop looking at her. She's beautiful. Now, of course, we love puppies. So close your ears, Magnolia. We're going we're gonna to talk about cats. <laughs> All right, kitten season, obviously, oh is here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, kitten season is here. Yeah. It is a bittersweet time. We love seeing the new cute little faces that come in every season. But, you know, when we have kittens coming in on the hour by litters, it is so expensive for the Humane Society. And it depletes our supplies. Our staff time is through the roof. I mean, when a neonate kitten comes in, they have to be fed every two hours. And we're a nonprofit organization. So we are really trying our best to find these kittens homes and take care of them like they deserve to be. Sure. But it's expensive, and it requires a lot of time. So we're looking for fosters, monetary donations, kitten formula, anything we can to give these kittens a fair chance at life. I think there's a really common stigma that when you find a kitten, just they'll be fine, they'll figure it out. But we really want to know that every life matters. And when you find a kitten, they really do deserve to find that home too and be taken care of properly. You mentioned fosters. How, how does one become a foster? If they, yeah. can't, if they can't adopt, yeah. they just want to help a kitten right. through until it can get adopted. Yeah, or if a monetary donation isn't right for you, right. do you have time in your day where you could donate some time? You know, when you would foster a Humane Society of West Michigan, everything is taken care of. It's just really getting these animals out of the shelter. Being in a shelter environment for that long is really taxing on these animals. And so they deserve to go home and learn how to be in a family environment. Right, that's important. Yeah. To, to get that home environment so they know that when they are adopted, they're mm -hmm. used to that sort of thing. So let's focus. Oh, look at this. Are you seeing this? Okay. <laughs> Magnolia would like a home. Yes. There's there's Magnolia. She could be doing this on your couch. 616-453-8900 if you allow dogs on your couch. Uh, you can also go to the uh, socials to see some window shopping or just check them out at hswestmi.org. We'll be right back.